Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here on the Aman Rollers and Compactors site here at Bauma 2022. And I'm with Leos. Leos, you are actually the product manager for this brand new product. First time it's been seen in the world here, the ARX 140. Now, tell us a little bit about this product. There's been quite a few significant changes to it, starting with actually where we are right now at the front end. All right, uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, of course, the machine is uh, an articulated tandem roller uh, weighing 14 tons. We have another with 16 tons as well. Uh, it's a machine which is, uh, uh, of course, designed for asphalt surfaces, but it can do very well on the gravel surfacing as well. So it's a new machine and obviously with the new machine comes some other new features um, for that. So what we're going to do is quickly go over to the cab folks because this is an all new cab design. Come on, let's go. So as we open this up folks, you'll notice inside there's a seat obviously and the control system there on the seat which is mounted there with the joysticks really helps the operator move around the machine because you can actually move this to the right or to the left, whereas we're front facing here and we can move it around and then you can turn it around to yeah, different ladies. angles from there and bring you into a position which is perfect for you as the operator. And obviously you can then swivel that around and go backwards and forwards. Why have you actually done that for this new design then? Because basically the drivers require best visibility. Yes. They, they are living literally in the cabin and they need to be in connection with what's happening outside. So the drivers, some prefer forwards direction. Some would prefer uh, to have it uh, the opposite direction like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, so we give the choice to the driver so he finds his optimum position in the machine and then he operates it focused and safe. Yeah, and that's really important, the safety of something like that. But also, if we move forward over here, we actually see that there's some clever technology inside this machine as well, isn't there? Where we notice the Ace Force. Ace Force sounds to me a lot to do with compaction control and what's going on. It does. What, what, what's it all about, the Ace it Force? It definitely does. The Ace Force stands for Aman Compaction Expert, and the Force is it's all about the compaction forces. Yeah. So we are able to measure and determine the absolute value of ground stiffness with our machine yep. and with this it uh, helps the, the driver and the machine to save fuel on unnecessary passes because the driver sees on the machine display when the job's done yep. and then he can move on to another job. And so what we're saying is we're not having to actually compact and over compact, say do six passes when only four passes are needed. Definitely, and also that's it. with that sort of technology in there, they, they can actually change the vibrations, I believe, and yeah, the, the frequency. Basically, basically the, the machine is fitted with a uh, dual amplitude uh, vibratory system, but what is exceptional on the machine, we allow the driver to change the frequency of the vibration uh, during the vibration passes. So when the driver or the system, of course, tells him that something's uh, necessary to be changed on the vibration uh, setting, he can change it and the machine settles up and continues in the compaction the safe way. So that's all about getting compaction right of different materials, you know, when, when people are going from asphalt, say, to, yeah. to, to actually aggregate like we're, we're standing or, on right now. Or, or the thicknesses of the material. And we, with this system, we are able to prevent, for example, crashing of the aggregates within the asphalt, which would later on Damage. Damaged. Damaged. Yeah. So we all know about potholes, folks. So if you don't actually get it right, if you put too much energy into that actual asphalt, that's actually going to degrade that process. The time is. Definitely. And therefore, we don't have our own potholes, folks. We don't want any of those. Of course, let's go around the, the back of the machine because there are two sides to this machine, folks. So we've got here a different type of design. I don't know if you can see behind me there is the older style design. This is a new machine. Tell us at least about this design and what, what the benefits are and why you've done it. So well, basically here you can notice that one uh, significant uh, uh, part might be missing. Uh, it's a rear cross beam and front cross beam as well. Uh, we have uh, uh, completely redesigned the machine in order to gain 
the super backwards and forwards visibility with no constraints over here. So basically it's an aspect for safety the visibility needs to be maintained, of course. And that's, uh, you know, it's quite revolutionary for people when they're looking at, you know, they're now seeing a front and a back that looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And so they can feel secure in moving that chair around and it feels like you're, you're doing it with the front, even if you're at the back, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's the point, you hit the nail. And also we provide for the driver to see the drum surface directly from his seat. Yeah. And with this, he is sure that uh, there is enough uh, water, he sees the sprinkling nozzles and everything. So it's prepared for deploying in the field and uh, the driver will be absolutely satisfied with that. And that's system. really important, you know, from a, from a usability of that particular machine. So we're coming yeah. round here now, folks, and yeah, excuse yeah, me, guys, yeah. we're coming round Sorry. here to talk about the middle yes, and please. inside of the machine, folks. So I'm going to open the door that matters here, the beating heart of this brand new machine. What is it, Leos? What's inside there for us? Uh, Peter, we are using uh, for the first time the Perkins Stage 5 engine. Uh, oh, right. Okay. And we have decided for this because uh, uh, Perkins has provided us uh, with the good technology, uh, very uh, flexible solutions on the design phase, and the cooperation was just superb. So what you're saying to me now is that the Perkins team has actually come with you through the design process of this new machine? Definitely, the team has helped us a lot and uh, of course the uh, Stage 5 engine is installed but in the same machine frame we are able to install also a Tier 3 machine, uh, Tier 3 engine for less regulated markets and it saves us a lot of costs for development uh, of different machine. So you, you probably have to move and, and do a different design um, for another machine to, to fit the engines in either, either or. And so now you can say we've got the same compartment space for the stage five, even with the after treatment, it's fitted in there nicely. Yes, definitely, that's the, that's the point. Uh, you can see also the uh, nice and neat uh, distribution of uh, uh, components inside the engine space. We have very good accessibility to the dev tank. Yep. Uh, the, engine uh, checkpoints are, are also uh, accessibly. And I think, you know, what's interesting about Stage 5, as a lot of people are now talking about with these new machines coming through, is you actually load this engine to get the optimum performance out of it as well. So you've probably actually got a the smaller engine anyway inside that space because of that, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Perkins was able to deliver us a compact engine with the sufficient output. This one is, for example, 100 kilowatts, uh, and it is sufficient to power the 14 tons of steel on two drums. Which is pretty hefty stuff, isn't it? And of course, I noticed when I looked inside here is, is actually the mountings. You know, it's, this is vibrating. This machine is vibrating a lot. That's never going to be good if an engine is put onto yeah. the machine. You need to actually get the right sorts of mountings and test that out as well so that the engine is in a calmer environment yeah, than the outside. Yeah. Definitely, that's, uh, that's it. Basically, uh, the rubber mounts are mounted there for a, for a good reason because it's protecting the engine from the vibration of the machine and the machine frame from the vibration of the, the engine. And so we've got now a brand new machine, we've got a stage five engine, we've got all the latest technology. What is it actually going to mean to customers? Are they going to be using less fuel or are they going to be getting more value out of each drop? How is it going to work for the customers? Uh, it is of course the focus because everyone counts a single litre of diesel saved. The, the engine has got an uh, advanced uh, uh, speed management system uh, which is fully cooperating with our uh, electronic uh, driver's uh, interface and uh, basically it is capable to save a lot of costs for our customers. And that's what it's all about folks, stage five brand new engines, better safety number one, better performance with technology included better performance, one fuel and all of that sort of element. And all it takes is therefore the operator in the cab to show us how it's all done from that very comfortable, highly visible seat, doesn't it? Okay, thank you for this wrap up. I believe that uh, this is a good fit for any customer all around the world. Fantastic, great to meet you. Thank Cheers. you, Peter. Cheers.